I came to accept uh, Jesus over many, many years. Um, my parents were very involved in church, and they raised me to love God and to have good morals. But somehow I missed the whole part about having Jesus um, and having a relationship with him personally. So over the years, um, many people came in and out of my life that I learned more and more about Jesus. Um, then my uh, brother and sister became Christians. After they'd gotten married and had a couple kids, they'd both found Jesus. And my brother told me that I needed to find Jesus. And I thought I already had Jesus. I didn't no, I didn't. But then my sister, she never preached to me, but she just had this inner peace in her. And I wanted that inner peace that she had. Um, so then um, after, I guess it was 9-11, and it was a wake-up call for me. Because I um, realized I needed to get right with God and I needed to find a church um, before it was too late. And so I did, and I found a church, a good church, and um, the pastor told me that I needed to start reading the Bible on my own. And so I did that, and then I went and saw the movie, The Passion. And during that movie is when I realized what Jesus had really done for me personally how he had taken everything I'd ever done wrong and um, he'd taken it on himself and he died on that cross with my sins, with everything I'd done wrong. Um, what is it, A First Peter 2.24, that he personally um, took our sins in his body on that cross. So we are dead to sin um, and we can live life right after that. So what that meant to me is that um, we're dead to sin. God doesn't see our sins anymore. Um, he sees us clean because all of our sins now are on Jesus. Jesus has my sins from the past, from the current, from the future. All of them, he holds all of them on him. And that's during that movie is when I broke down and I asked Jesus to forgive me and to for everything I'd ever done. And I chose to take him as my Lord and Savior. And taking him as my Lord meant that he comes before everything else now in the world to me. He comes before clothes and food and money and my job and even all of my family. Um, after that, um, signs that changed in me were I changed the movies I watched, the um, music I listened to, and then God started poking at me to volunteer. And I work full time, and Sundays now I'm going to church. So Saturday is the only day I have to do most everything else I have to do. So I, he kept poking at me and poking at me, and so finally I volunteered. So I went and I was volunteering all morning long, and I came back, and in the afternoon I had more energy than I thought possible, and I started doing my regular choice that I needed to take care of, and I did everything that I would have done normally in a day, maybe even more. And that's when I realized that if God asks me to do something, He's going to give me everything I need to do it. Um, so now I have that peace that my sister has. And I am not perfect, and my life isn't perfect, but God is with me all the time. And I know with God all things are po possible. That's Matthew 19, 26.